Santa Clara County is expanding a task force that targets people who are illegally in possession of firearms. Now, the county calls it a gun violence strike team, and the expansion comes after the recent mass shooting in Half Moon Bay. KTVU's Mark Serre live tonight there in San Jose with a closer look at how this unit operates. Mark. Well, my county leaders concede that there's no way they can know if the work of this strike team could actually prevent any kind of mass casualty event. But they do say if they can get guns out of the hands of people that already have existing court orders or possibly are making threats, it could make a difference. The 66-year-old gunman who went on a shooting spree in Half Moon Bay had legally purchased his firearm and had no prior contact with law enforcement. The shooter at the Gilroy Garlic Festival had legally purchased his gun in Nevada. In both of these cases and others, there was nothing to trigger any law enforcement action in advance. We all know in our community too well the negative impacts of gun violence. Now, Santa Clara County is vastly expanding what it calls its gun violence strike team, which can quickly react to any potential threats if and when they are reported. The team will also follow up to make sure guns which are already subject to court orders, such as in domestic violence cases, are removed. The sole purpose of this team is to get guns off the street and people who have restraining orders to take guns from people really frankly who shouldn't have them. The program is run by the Santa Clara County District Attorney's Office and currently has five people. On Tuesday, the Board of Supervisors is set to approve nearly a million dollars for several new positions and cooperative agreements are now in place with local and federal partners to bring the total unit size to 23. Other jurisdictions um, are doing way more gun violence restraining orders than we are and we need to up our capacity so that every time someone makes a threat and has a gun that we have the resources to get that court order and to remove the guns from that person. County leaders also hope that by keeping the dialogue open on the issue of reporting potential threats it could prompt more people to step forward and possibly prevent a future tragedy. What we want to make sure of is that if people see red flags that they are reporting, that, that is the only way for us to know that somebody is a danger is for somebody to report. Now, prosecutors are clear they can't do any of this work without an order from a judge, but they also say they can get those orders fairly quickly from a judge, especially in the case of a documented threat, say, of potential mass violence. The county board of supervisors is set to vote on this tomorrow morning at the regular meeting at 9.30 a.m. Reporting live from downtown San Jose, I'm Mark Sayer, KTVU, Fox 2 News. All right, Mark, thank you.